President Trump in Cleveland yesterday ahead of Tuesday's primaries, nice. which have former U.S. Congressman Dennis Kucinich head to head with Elizabeth Warren backed Richard Cordray for Ohio's Democratic gubernatorial nomination. This as Cordray attacks his opponent's Fox News appearances. Take a listen to this. He knows the game he was playing. He's brought on so that they can say that they're fair and balanced. He's their house poodle. Uh, that's exactly what it was. He played the game. He took their money. He made his choices. Here to react, former U.S. Congressman for Ohio and 2008 Democratic presidential candidate Dennis Kucinich. Congressman, great to have you on with us this morning. Good to see you. It's good to be here. Thank you. All right. Just your reaction off the top to that attack at you are Fox News's house poodle. Well, you know, uh, let's put it this way that uh, Mr. Cordray was the watchdog, right, at the Consumer Finance Protection Board, but the watchdog dog walked away from his post and cost consumers billion, cost millions of consumers billions of dollars. Now, I think if he's going to start making canine comparisons, we have to look at the fact that when he left his post, this watchdog left his post, he turned the keys to the Consumer Finance Protection Bureau over to the Trump administration. So, you know, I, I think uh, he has some accounting to do on that. All right. So Richard Cordray, backed by Elizabeth Warren, the primary is this coming Tuesday. It's, it's a, a state that people are watching closely. The president was just there yesterday touting tax reform. What is your sense of where the Democratic Party is in the state of Ohio? Because you look at Cordray, who is backed by Elizabeth Warren, clearly with very liberal policies. What do you think is going to happen on Tuesday? Well, you know, the surprising thing about Elizabeth Warren is that she's opposed to assault weapons in her state of Massachusetts, but apparently is for them in the state of Ohio because uh, Mr. Cordray is uh, full, full on with the NRA on that. Uh, it's kind of a contradiction there. But as far as the, the other issues, uh, Democrats are going to have to give the people a real choice, whether it's unemployment or or a full employment economy, or rising student debt, or free college, for-profit health care, or not-for-profit health care, fracking, or clean water, assault weapons, or a ban on assault weapons. So I'm, I'm trying to help the Democratic Party define itself so it can win in November, because otherwise it's just going to be the same old, same old. Uh, we have to offer Americans a real choice. Yeah, well, this and, is... I think you'll find this interesting. So there's a Democratic pollster who's now warning that the blue wave has stalled. I'm going to read what he said. He says, Democratic midterm momentum has stalled in the last few months. Democrats have appeared less focused on the economic and health care battles that most engage anti-Trump voters. At the same time, Republican-based voters, especially white working class men, could finally point to a signature conservative policy achievement in the new tax cut law. What do you make of that statement? Again, this is coming from a Democratic pollster concerned about about Democrats being successful and losing their momentum because, as you said, they're not focused on the issues that the voters are most passionate about. Well, I will tell you, it's not just white folks, it's black folks who are concerned about the economic issues here. And if we're going to win, we have to turn out uh, working people, whatever their color, and to respond to their practical aspirations for uh, good paying jobs, for uh, not just better wages, but for benefits. Uh, that, you know, the, the Democratic Party lost touch with the people years ago when it went with these trade deals that took jobs out of our country, when it continued to fund the wars, when they bailed out the banks and Wall Street. Uh, let's face it, people are looking for the real Democrats to show up, and I'm a real Democrat. The, establish, the Democratic establishment wants to win control for themselves, not for the people. And both, both party establishments are locked into yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think that uh, there's another shakeup coming in 2018, and both party establishments better watch out. All right, we will see. Tuesday is a big day, Congressman. Great to have you on with us this morning. Good to see you. Thank you very much.